Hi judges! Welcome to another segment of Monar Liwag Memorial High School Senior High School Math TV. And for today, we will be discussing the different types of sequences and series. So we will be solving for the term possession. We will be solving for the sum of the terms of the different sequences and series. And to start with, let's start with the first one. And that is arithmetic sequence and series. So what is an arithmetic sequence? So when we say arithmetic sequence, it is a sequence in which each term after the first is obtained by adding a constant. And that constant is what we call as the common difference. And we add that to the preceding term. Again, an arithmetic sequence is a sequence in which each term after the first is obtained by adding a constant. That constant is common difference to the preceding term. So this is the formula for um, the arithmetic sequence. If ever we need to get um, the specific term for the sequence. So for this one, we are given a n is equal to a1 plus n minus 1 times d. Where a n is the n term. For example, we're asked to get the um, 45th term. So that is a n. a1 is the first term. N is the term position. So, for example, the 45th term, therefore, N is equal to 45. ND is the common difference. So, how do we get the common difference? By subtracting the second term to the first term. Okay? So, if the sequence is increasing, therefore, the common difference is positive. If the sequence is decreasing, therefore, the common difference is negative. So, for the associated series or the sum of the terms, if we're, if we're asked to get the sum of all the terms of the sequence, all you have to do is to use this formula. So, when we say sum of the terms, therefore, that is S denoted by N, Sn. So, Sn is equal to N over 2 times A1 plus An. So, just like um, the formula here for the term position or for the N term, so N is the number of terms, A1 is the... First term, a n is the n term, or for the, in this case we can call it the last term. So, or if we have another given, we're not given a n, therefore we will be using this formula, wherein s n is equal to n over two times two a one plus n minus one times d. Okay. So again, if you're asked to get the associated arithmetic series or sum of the terms, this is the formula that we will be using. Again, the formula for the specific term wherein we have the formula a n is equal to a1 plus n minus 1 times d, where n is the term position, a1 is the first term, and d is the common difference. And if we're asked to get the associated series or sum of the terms, the formula that we will be using will be s n is equal to n over 2 times the quantity a1 plus a n where n is the number of terms a1 is the first term a n is the um, n term or if you're given that is the last term or we could use the formula s n is equal to n over 2 times 2 a1 plus n minus 1 times d okay so let's now have different examples on how we could solve for the arithmetic sequence using the formula a n and s n so, we're, what if we're asked to get the term position? What if we're asked to get the number of terms? Or what if we're asked to get the common difference? So, this is how we solve for those given. So, what if we're given example number one? Find the 46th term of the arithmetic sequence 3, 8, 13, 18, 23. So, we are given arithmetic sequence. Therefore, this is really the formula that we will be using. But first, let us write the given. Okay, so since we are given 3, 8, 13, 18, 23, we could say that A1 is equal to 3. Okay, let's say that we can now finally say that A1 is equal to 3. If A1 is equal to 3, we could say that N is the number of terms. But then if N is equal to the number of terms, we are given the 46th term. Therefore, N is equal to 46. Do not forget that if you are given the number of terms and you are given this situation, therefore, we could say that N is equal to 46. Okay. Next one is the common difference. Again, 
in order for us to get the common difference if the given is increasing the common difference is positive if the given is decreasing therefore the common difference is negative and in this case it is increasing therefore all we have to do is to subtract the second term to the first term 8 minus 3 is equal to 5 13 minus 8 is equal to 5 18 minus 13 8 minus 3 is 5, 13 minus 8 is 5, 18 minus 13 is 5, 23 minus 18 is 5. Therefore, they are all the same. That's why it's called common difference. Is that clear? Okay, therefore, D is equal to 5. And we're asked to get the 46th term. And if this is the case, therefore, that is A, N. Or we call that A, 46. And we do not know that yet. Using the formula, so therefore, we will be using the formula A, N is equal to A, 1 plus n minus 1 times the common difference where in a n is equal to a 46 since we are looking for the 46 term is equal to the first term which is 3 plus n which is 46 minus 1 times the common difference of 5 therefore a 46 now is equal to 3 plus 46 minus 1 is equal to 45 times 5 Therefore, A46 is equal to 3 plus 45 times, times 5 will give us an answer of 225. And 3 plus 225 is equal to 228. Therefore, the 46th term now is equal to 228. And that is our 46th term. Okay? So, let's have another example. So, that is how you solve for the specific number of term for... Um, arithmetic sequence therefore that is a 46 or the 46 term of the arithmetic sequence 3 8 13 18 23 with uh, common difference of 5 for the second one what if we're asked to get the sum of all the terms sum of all the 46 terms again we could write that a1 is equal to 3 because we have the same given a1 is equal to 3 also n is equal to 46 and A46 is equal to 228. We could also say that A46 is our last term. If we're asked to get the sum of the first 46 term, therefore the formula that we will be using is equal to Sn. Sn is equal to n over 2 times A1 plus An. Okay, where A1 is the first term, An is the n term. We are given the n, the n term, which is 228, and n is the total number of terms, wherein we have 46 terms. Therefore, it is not anymore Sn. We could rewrite this as S46, and S46 is equal to 46 over 2 times A1, which is 3, plus An, which is 228. Okay, we could finally say that, uh, that 46 over 2 is equal to 23, and 23 times... 3 plus 228 is, 3 plus 228 will give us an answer of 231, and 23 times 221 is 5,313. And that is the sum of the first 46 terms. Okay, so that is how we solve for the sum of the terms or the associated series for this one again the formula is very simple that is sn is equal to n over 2 times a1 plus a n where a1 is the first term and a n is the n term or the last term so let's proceed with the next given example for this one we are given number 3 79 75 71 67 63 and we're asked to find a32 or the 32nd term what if we're given this one? Okay, always remember to first analyze. Is the given sequence increasing or decreasing? 79, 75, 71, 67. Therefore, it is decreasing. Therefore, our common difference should be negative. Very good. It should be negative. Okay, if we're asked to find the 32nd term, we could write that A1 is equal to 79 and that N is equal to 32 since we're asked to get a 32 and then we're asked to get d so 75 minus 79 is negative 4 71 minus 75 is negative 4 67 minus 71 is negative 4 63 minus 67 is negative 4 therefore this is our common difference and that our common difference should be negative 4 I hope that is clear if d is equal to negative 4 we are asked to get a 32 okay so the formula we have the formula an is equal to a1 plus n minus 1 times d 
where a n is equal to a thirty two, where a one is equal to seventy nine plus, where n is equal to thirty two minus one, and then d is equal to negative four. Therefore, a thirty two now is equal to seventy nine plus thirty one times negative four, and we have seventy nine. So this should be negative. Therefore, this becomes negative. Okay, so 31 times negative 4 will give us an answer of negative 124. Therefore, the 32nd term now is 79 minus 124, and that should be negative 45. Therefore, the 32nd term is negative 45. Okay, so that is how we get the um, specific term. So what if we're now asked to get the number of terms or what term number so for example um, the term position for this one okay so in this case we have the same given 79 75 71 67 63 and we're asked to to get the term number and if we're asked to get the term number it is also the term position that is n okay so let's rewrite the given we have a1 is equal to 79 where n is Unknown again, n is unknown, so we're also given d where d is negative 4 and a n is equal to negative 169. Again, our a n now would be negative 169, but we're asked to get the value of n. So, what is the position of negative 169? So, we're asked to get its position or the term number. So, we write the formula. A n is equal to A1 plus n minus 1 times D, where A n is equal to negative 169, where A1 is equal to 79 plus n, which is unknown, minus 1 times D, which is negative 4. Therefore, we have negative 169 is equal to 79. Distribute negative 4, therefore, it becomes negative 4 n. Negative 1 times negative 4, that becomes positive 4 okay so in this case therefore we have 79 plus 4 will now be having negative 169 79 plus 4 is equal to 83 minus 4n transfer this to the other side transfer this to the other side therefore we have positive 4n is equal to 83 plus 169 therefore 4n is equal to 83 plus 169 which will give us an answer of 252 Okay, therefore, we'll now be having 4n is equal to 252. Divide both sides by 4. Therefore, we could finally say that n is equal to 252 over 4. And 252 over 4 would be 63. Therefore, there are 63 terms or the 63rd term is negative 149. Okay, we could say that for this one, the 63rd term is negative 169 and that is the term number or the term position again do not forget that this is how you solve for the term position or the term number always remember that you need to solve for the value of n okay so i hope that arithmetic sequence is clear that the formula is very simple that a n is equal to a1 plus n minus 1 times d and that s n is equal to n over 2 times a1 plus a n where a1 is the first term n is the total number of terms a n is the n term and d is the common difference that's all for arithmetic sequence i hope you learned something from this video lessons once again i am engineer jad edward hernandez saying that mathematics is always fun goodbye and god bless